In this tutorial, I will show how to create evaluations. In a previous tutorial, I turned off the icons of the evaluation. And if I want to turn them on again, I can go in to my visibility setting by pressing BV. Then I'll get the dialog box of visibility settings. And under annotation categories, I will find the evaluations. Click them on and press OK. And here we have them again. As default, in many templates, it will create four evaluations. These evaluations you can select and move. And if you press on the, the black arrow part, you will get a blue line. This blue line tells you that it will create your evaluation from here inside to the model. This we can drag just by click on the arrows. And typically you want to have everything within your evaluation. And I can click on the blue line and move it if it's not in the right position. You could say it's work as a section. It's cut your 3D models just here where, where the blue line is. If you have a model with context or some kind of a tearing landscape, it will cut where you see these blue lines. But I need to move these icons so it's outside the buildings. So I click on the black arrow again to check where do I have the evaluation cut and the depth of the evaluations. And I do that for all of the evaluations. If I want to look how the evaluation is, I, I go to the project browser, double click on that evaluation I want to go to, and then I have the evaluation here. Sometimes these crop views can be turned on. When I don't have anything selected, I have the properties of the view. If I click these on just to show, this box is a crop region that crop your view. So to say you can crop if you only want to have a, a small part or you can just click them off instead to have all of the evaluation. Here again, we have the levels icon. These you can hide by selecting them, right click, hide in view by category. Then we have a evaluation of the north facade. If you want to create more evaluation than just these four evaluation, you go to view, click on evaluation. Here you have the possibility of position a evaluation icon. As you can see here, it's well from right to left. I could just position it here. There's different ways of turning this around. I could click on it, the big circle, and I could rotate it. And then you can, can get a evaluation that is not parallel with the X and Y axis. I could also do something else. I'll just zoom a little bit in here, click on the icon, and as you can see here, I can click on these boxes. And if I click this on, it will create an evaluation in this direction. And I could remove this one. It will also delete the evaluation created over here in my project browser. So now it will look in this direction, for example. Tip for creating non-parallel evaluation. If our building was just rotated a little bit, I just doing this way, and we don't know the exact rotation. Then the best way of create an evaluation that is parallel to this facade or this line, for example, could be that go to architecture, create a wall, pick lines, pick a line from the existing model, and then it will create a wall. Then we can go to view, activate evaluation. Now it recognizes that there is a wall here, and maybe you want to make a parallel evaluation just here. So I could just move the cursor around here. You can see it's flip if it want to look from this side or this side. It could maybe be this side. So the reason for, for creating this wall was just to have it this intelligent snap function. So I can just delete this wall now and I will have an evaluation that is totally parallel to the imported model. 